while riding on a slow train in Montana, I was fascinated by watching the, the strange antics of a fellow passenger who sat opposite me. At irregular intervals he would pull vigorously on a string which dangled from the back of his shirt collar, while he mumbled some imprecation, which I could not hear. Finally my curiosity got the best of me and after the usual exchange of small talk, I made bold enough to ask the meaning of his strange behavior. He related the following, without hesitation. About a year ago I found myself stranded in the desert 20 miles outside of the city of Billings. I made my way to a lonely ranch and asked for food. The owner would feed me only on condition that I work for him. Thus, I became a sheep herder. My sexual needs became more and more urgent, for there were no women anywhere near this ranch, until I was forced to adopt the custom of the country, e, find what satisfaction I could in the sheep under my care. I got so that every time I was horny at least two or three of the little deers would prance toward me nuzzling and rubbing against my legs in their desire to be favored. You must understand that I am by nature an extremely passionate man and could find little relief in such bucolic pastimes. It was, therefore, with a feeling of keen anticipation that after six months I left the ranch and made my way to Kansas City. Having fallen heir to a small inheritance, I registered at one of the better hotels and prepared myself for a long-awaited screw. A bellboy properly tipped brought as beautiful a woman as I had ever set eyes on into my room. The long-awaited moment had arrived. The woman lay naked and willing before me. I need not tell you how alluring she was, nor how the heated blood distended my penis to its full nine inches. My long-awaited dream was about to become a reality. Whether it was my experience with a sheep, whether it was my long period of abstinence from a woman, whether it was some psychological quirk thrusting itself up from my self-conscious, whether it was, the sad fact remains that at this most opportune moment my prey quilted and died just as I was about to insert it. From that night on every time I think of this devastating experience, I jerk the string and make the son of a bitch kiss my ass.